Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. Ever wish you had a coding genius sitting right next to you helping you navigate the intricate world of syntax and logic? Well, Copilot is that genius. It understands your intent and crafts code like a seasoned developer, saving you time and boosting your productivity. So in this video, we are going to be discussing the top 10 features of the GitHub Copilot that will help you in code faster and much more efficiently. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is to add the extension in your VS Code. So you have to go to the extensions right here and here you have to type GitHub Copilot. And these are the two extensions that you need to install. The first one is the GitHub Copilot and the second one is the GitHub Copilot chat. And once both the extensions have been successfully installed, you will see the GitHub Copilot logo right here that will show you the status menu. And if you click it, it will show you that the status of it is ready. Now you are all set to use the GitHub Copilot inside your code. So the first thing about the GitHub Copilot, which I want to show you is the ghost text. So let's say if you want to write any code inside the test.py file, like for example, I want to create the code for the binary search function. I write all of this and before hitting enter, I get all of this code right here, which is in the gray color. And this code is called the ghost text. It will not appear on your file until and unless you accept the suggestion or hit the tab button. The next thing is to view all the suggestions. So you can see that right now it is showing only one suggestion. But if you press Control enter, it will show you a list of all the possible suggestions which the GitHub Copilot has provided you. And whichever suggestion is the correct one for you, you can always go ahead and click on the accept suggestion one button and the code for that suggestion will appear right here in your workspace. Then the next feature which the GitHub Copilot provides you is the inline chat box. So instead of opening the chat box or the chat GPT on its own, you can simply go ahead and press Ctrl I and it will open an inline chat box for you. You can always go ahead and ask it to generate the code or ask it any other function. So let's say I want to ask it generate code for bubble sort. Hit enter and it will provide you the code for the bubble sort. And you can always go ahead and accept or discard the changes. So once you click on the accept button, only then the code will appear on your code space. And this control I feature, which is the inline chat box, will only help you in generating the code. But if you want to get an explanation for the code or you want to ask any question right in the middle of the coding, then you can simply use the hash symbol, which is the symbol for writing the comments in the Python. Then you have to place a Q and a colon sign. And after that, you can provide your question. So if I say what is bubble sort, then once I hit enter, it will provide me an answer to the question. So it says that bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm that repeatedly steps through the list, compares the adjacent elements and solves them if they are in the wrong order. So in this way, using this notation, you can always go ahead and ask any question right in the middle without actually opening the chat box. But you have to remember to use the correct notation for the comments for each programming language. Right now, I am working in the Python, so I've used hash here. If you are working with the JavaScript, you have to use the double forward slash and so on. Then the next feature provided by the GitHub Copilot is the chat window. You can always go ahead and click on this chat icon right here and it will open a chat box for you. And then using this chat box, you can ask it to write any lines of code or do any operation for you. So this brings us to our fifth feature provided by GitHub Copilot, which is to create an entire code inside a new notebook using the GitHub Copilot. So in order to do so, you have to use the forward slash and from here you have to click on this new notebook. So here you can provide it any topic for which you want to generate the code inside the new notebook. I'm going to say create a new notebook containing the complete code for data analysis and data visualization using pandas. Run it and it will take some time in order to generate the response. In a matter of few minutes, it will provide you that here is an outline for the Jupyter Notebook that performs the data analysis using the pandas. These are the five main headings which will be present inside the notebook. And once you click on the create notebook button, then a new notebook will be created where the first topic will be to import the required libraries. Here is the code for importing the required libraries. Then we have the cell to load the data set. Here in the double quotes, Inside the round bracket, you can provide the path of any dataset that you want pandas to read. 
and then it will be converted to data frame then we have a cell to perform data cleaning on the data set we have the code for the data analysis and then finally we have the entire code to perform data visualization so the only thing that you need to change in this code in order to perform data visualization and data analysis using pandas is to provide the path of your csv file right here where the pandas is reading the csv file and storing it inside a data frame so in this way just writing a single line you were able to generate the entire code to perform data analysis and visualization using pandas library and in this way you can provide it any topic that you want and it will create the entire code for you inside a new notebook and you can always go ahead and share this notebook with your colleagues in order to display them your code then the next feature provided by vs code is language support let's quickly go ahead and remove this code right here so the language support means that if you are not familiar with the english language or if your native language is something else other than english then no need to worry vs code provides you the option to provide it different comments in any of your language and vs code on its own will understand that language and will provide you the suggestions and code based on your prompt so here i'm going to provide it the comment in the german language and it actually says that create a program that takes a number as input from the user and calculates its factorial so this prompt is actually written in the german language but you will see that visual studio code using the github copilot will understand the german language and will provide you the code in python by interpreting the german language so if i hit enter right here you will see that it will start providing me the code suggestions so if i go ahead and accept all of these suggestions then i'll have a code that takes a number as input from the user and then this code will pass this number to the function for calculating the factorial and it will display you the factorial for that number and it is also provided as the output if the user enters the number 5 then it will display its factorial to be 120 so you can see that github copilot also provides you the language support that you can provide it prompt in the form of comment in any language other than the english and it will still understand your language and will provide you the right suggestion on the basis of that language let's move towards the next feature provided by the github copilot which is code explanation you can provide any code to the github copilot written in any programming language and it will provide you explanation for it so for example i have this code right here which actually uses the polycode model to generate the response based on the user prompt so if you want to see the explanation for this code generated by the github copilot then simply select the code right click it and from the copilot you have to select explain this once you do that it will open the chat window for you on the left side and then it will start providing you the explanation for the code all right so the entire explanation is generated and you can see that uh, firstly it provided us a brief summary of the entire code which says that it uses a transformers library which, of the, which is state of the art machine learning library for natural language processing and then it is provided us line by line explanation for all lines of the code which are written inside this provided code and this code was written in the python language but you can use this code explanation feature of github copilot to get the code explanation for code in any programming language now in order to show you another feature provided by github copilot i'm going to create a new file right here i'm going to call it app.cpp because it is going to be a c++ file then inside this file i'm going to paste the code this code is actually used to test whether a string is palindrome or not so this code is the correct in order to check the palindrome but i'm gonna make a few changes to this code i'm gonna firstly change the condition from i greater than j to i less than j for i plus plus i'm gonna say i minus minus and then for the j plus plus i'm gonna leave it to j so i've deliberately made a few changes inside this code so now i know that there are some errors inside this code so if you want to correct those errors if you simply have to select all of the code then you simply have to right click it go to the copilot and then click on fix this then it will open the box to say to fix the code i would correct the logic inside the while loop to properly reverse the string and here it is also providing us the correct code for it so if i move it a bit you can see that here in the conditions which i changed to i minus minus and simply j so here it is showing me the correct way of doing it so if i click on accept it will change the 
code for me and if I once again select it again right click it go to copilot and click on fix this let's see if it is able to fix it anymore or not so now since there are no more mistakes inside the code so it is giving us errors which are not useful for us so i'm gonna click on discard and nothing will be added to the code so now our code is just fine and in this way you can go ahead and fix the errors which are present inside the code and this was done using the code editor itself but if you want to do it using the terminal so for that i'm gonna go to test.py file and from here i'm gonna remove this code and i'm gonna paste the code to check the string is palindrome or not but this time the code will be in the python language so in order to add certain error inside it i will remove this round bracket from here it will show me an error you will see a syntax error right here that shows that there is a missing bracket so now instead of selecting all of the code right clicking it and using the fix it option from the copilot i'm going to go to the problems here it says that we have the syntax error and if i click on this bulb that says show fixes i'm going to use the option that says fix using the go copilot and now it will use the forward slash fix feature and here it will pass the error right inside the code and if i click on accept it then it will add a new bracket right here and if i go ahead and run this project again now it will run fine and will display us yes that the entered string is a palindrome and the last feature provided by the github copilot are the agents the github copilot actually provides us two agents first is for the vs code and the second one is for the workspace you can access the agents using the add the rate symbol and here you have the option to use the VS Code workspace or the terminal. If you select the workspace agent, then you can ask it any question about the workspace. So let's say if I ask it, what is happening in my app.cpp file? So now it will go to my workspace, will find this file and will answer this question for me. So you can see that here it is gathering the workspace info and now it is giving me the response that the app.cpp file contains a C++ program that checks if a given string is palindrome or not. So this was a basic example of using the workspace. If you have a lot of folders and a lot of files inside a big project, then if you want to find certain feature which was written in any file and you cannot find it right now, then you can always use the workspace agent. Write down the prompt to find that chunk of code and it will highlight the file and the code chunks present inside the code directory or your workspace and if you want to create a new file using the workspace agent you can do that too so in order to create a new file i'm going to provide it the prompt that says create a new file called app.py in my workspace that contains code for a streamlit app run it and it will start looking through your workspace and getting the information about the workspace and after a while you will see that it is provided as a basic example of the streamlit app which is in the app.py file and if i go to the files now you will see that in addition to two files i have a new file called app.py and it contains the code which was generated by the github copilot chat so using the workspace agent we were able to create a new file inside my workspace that contains the code for the streamlit app now the next type of agent is the vs code so the VS Code agent is actually used to help you in getting information about the VS Code. So let's say if you want to find certain feature but you are unable to find it. Let's say I want to change the theme of my VS Code but I'm unable to find the option to do so. I can use the VS Code agent and then provide it the prompt that says change the theme of the VS Code. Run it and it will provide you the options from where you can change the theme of your VS Code. So here it has provided me the response that you can change the theme of the VS Code by using the preferences color theme command. This command will open a drop down for available themes and you can select the one that you prefer. And it has also provided me the button. So if I click on this show in command palette button, it will show me the options from right here. And I can always select any of the provided options. And here is a list of all the themes from which I can select it. So in this way, you can use the VS Code agent to get any information about any feature of the VS Code. So go ahead and use GitHub Copilot in your coming projects to improve your efficiency and coding performance. Thanks for watching.